all right people first real content that we've got on this channel we're going to talk about how to use the brush tool for natural light specifically we're talking about backlit photos let's jump over to this photo you'll see what i'm talking about backlit sun photos here's an example that i have for you right here let me delete this no just delete the brush let me get rid of this for you i did already edit it a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on over here but obviously they're still you know they don't look great right now as they are because it's super backlit so what i see a lot of people do is two things one they will use the brush tool like this they'll get a really big brush and they just brush over these people like that And to, to their credit, most people will, you know, kind of do one of these real quick little thing. And then they leave it and they're done. I am not crazy about that. I think that looks really sloppy. The other thing people do is they use this tool right here, which is called the radial filter. And they will do this. And let me invert that because I know that's what's going to happen. They'll do one of these. So they just make a really big radial filter and then adjust however and you can press O and then they're like okay great I'm done that also looks really sloppy to me what I would suggest that people do especially if you're giving photos to a client or a friend or whoever is you should make sure you're refining that edge of the brush tool so I'll show you, this is what I do. I'll just go over. Let's just go over like this. Da, 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 da. Bam. Okay. I press the O key on my keyboard. If you don't know, that shows you where the, um, that shows you the color of the mask of what you've painted, basically. Whoops. <laughs> See, people make mistakes. Um, and then I'm going to go over the edge. And I'll speed this up now and show you what I do and stop wherever I have problems. Okay, so here's a, a point where I think a lot of people would just leave it, but you're forgetting about this spot right here. This spot is a big deal to me because though most people don't notice it at first it's something that people are going to notice later on when they look at the photo more and more so it's worth it to me to take the extra you know two minutes to make sure that this spot looks really sharp and clean rather than just leaving it alone so I would maybe, so like right there, that looks pretty darn good. Not many people are going to be nitpicking it more than that. I'll still go over this edge a little bit, but yeah, that's about it. That's, that's looking pretty good. Something to know about when you have a backlit photo that's natural light, you're not going to have a lot of saturation in your subject. So I don't know why that is. I don't know the science behind it. I just know that everyone always looks a little desaturated. So I always bring the saturation up just a tad to these people so they blend in a little bit more. And right about there is good. I'm pretty happy with that look right there. I think maybe a little bit brighter. I'm not sure. This is what I did originally, and I feel like that it's maybe a little bit too much but I am happy with this overall I think that that looks pretty good I might bring the shadows up a little bit more but yeah that's it guys I mean do this however you want to if it's a stylistic choice that's awesome but if it's just laziness that's where I have a problem with it so take it for what it's worth 
I think a lot of clients prefer this look. I think it just looks a little more natural and just a little more well done. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have more content here soon and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever, dislike it. I don't care. Feedback is feedback. I want it. So yeah, guys, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching.